Hey everyone, Beacon here with the Point Mechanic Channel, and today's video is going to be a review on the new 95.5 millimeter ice heads from Flow on Fire. They do make a 90 millimeter and 100 millimeter as well, but I'll be talking about this particular size just because this is the new Beacon Pro model, which you can also get through them. Uh, it'll come in either an LED setup like this or the daytime setup. Now, if you watched the video that I put out late last year on, it was a review video on the 95.5s, you'll know that I was kind of on the fence on whether or not I was going to be switching to this size from 100 millimeter. After that video, I fell more in love with these things. What I really like about them is that uh, when you're doing slide tosses, and I do a lot of slide tosses, or any toss where you're grabbing onto the head, I found that I was getting a much more consistent grab versus the 100 millimeter. Now I have big mechanic hands and I, I thought I could grab these all the time, but I was having some inconsistencies and it was kind of annoying me, especially when I was doing tether traps, which is where you're holding onto the handle and you grab the head at the same time and then you loop the other poised handle. With that move, I was definitely dropping it more than I probably should, but with this setup, it is so much more consistent and I so love it. But I was still on the fence on whether I would switch it or not because at that time they didn't have a LED option in this size and they didn't have fire ploy heads in this size either. But now they do and it's it's awesome. So I've def definitely made the switch 100% and the Pro model, I got to tell you, is the absolute best that I've ever spun. There's really nothing else I think I could ask for on this. It's just it's absolutely perfect. Um, now, I don't know the weights on the 90s or the 100s. I'll put that up there uh, on the video. But in this case, with the 95.5s, it weighs 200 grams, and that is with the Floatoys capsule, which means that it's really consistent switching from here to here. There's, it's the same exact weight. So there's not, you know, you're not going to have to make up for it when you switch over like I was having to do on my other sets. Um, the light dispersion properties on this are so great. It lights up the whole head. It's definitely the brightest head that I have seen. Um, it's so bright, in fact, that uh, I've had to dial down the brightness settings because it just it's kind of blinding. I had been spinning the 100 millimeter hard glow heads and didn't have any complaints about them. I've liked these for so long. But once I got it next to this, I realized how much brighter this was. And I also realized how the color is not quite coming through as pure on the glow head versus the ice head. This one's coming out as pure as it comes out of the LED. And it was especially noticeable when we were spinning uh, our handles, uh, the 3D printed handles next to these. Like you can kind of see, especially on uh, like that handle, which I don't even have an LED in. Uh, that handle right there, uh, you can kind of see the LED through it a bit, and you can see it through this as well. That's how bright it is. And when you're spinning this, you don't quite see the LED like that, but it, you kind of see something. It, it gives it a neat little effect. Now, I had been spinning uh, 97s quite a while back, and that's the 97 frosted version. And a lot of people have been asking what's the difference between that and this. Uh, this one I definitely think is a little bit brighter. That one you couldn't see the LED through, so yeah, could, you could argue that it had better light dispersion properties, but uh, I would definitely pick this any day over that just because it feels like it's much more dense. Um, it, it's just so much better to do contact with, in my opinion. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll get back to the head. There's something neat that we're doing on this. It's a, a modular system, but the handle is what I'll talk about now. This is the egg knob that we make here at Lost and Flow, and this is a 3D printed handle that has a rubberized grip on it. It also has a hybrid ceramic bearing in the handle, so it's an inline bearing. And uh, I do orbitals super easily with this. Now, normally when you do orbitals, you'll have a swivel out here on your rope or it's embedded in your handle and you get this kind of floppy action. And it's especially noticeable when you're trying to do a toss and the handle is not gonna land in your hand consistently each time. Well, with this setup, it, you don't have to worry about that. It's just like your normal day poise setup and it's uh, so nice. I really, really like it. Um, the rope that I'm using is called TPC. And if you've watched my videos, you'll know that I'm a big uh, fan of the VPC. I've been using it for years. Uh, VPC, why I like it so much is uh, it has stiff characteristics that you'll notice when you're doing tosses where the rope stays straight. It doesn't coil up like you'll find in like polypropylene and other ropes. But it also has a really nice uh, flexibility to it. So you can do finger slingers and things like that quite easy. But the downside was that it shrank. I had found that some of my sets, uh, like my longer, you know, 29 uh, inch sets would shrink maybe uh, an inch or two, depending on the environment that I was spinning them in. Uh, the more dirt and grime you get in them, they kind of seem to shrink more. 
and so I've always recommended people get their sets a little bit longer than you're expecting, uh, and then it'll shrink down to the size. Uh, about five years ago, I made a set, though, that had Technora in it. And so I took a 3 16 inch Technora and ran it through itself to double it up. And then I ran it through this jacket. And that's why it's called TPC. The T stands for Technora. The V stood for Vectran, but the Vectran's not in there anymore. That setup that I had, uh, it's been through everything. I took it to so many festivals. I took it to Burning Man. I lived out in the desert. So it's like it, it, I put it through its uh, abuse for sure. And that stuff never seemed to shrink. And so I started playing around with this on the new sets. And this stuff hasn't shrank either. Now, granted, I do do a lot of orbitals and I'm constantly pulling on it, so it could be stretching it back out to the right size, but other people that I've turned on to this setup that don't do orbitals, they haven't complained about it shrinking either, so I have really high hopes for this. It uh, does give it a, tight, a tad bit different feel. It still remains uh, stiff in the air and it still has that flex to it, but it has a slight bit uh, uh, heavier feel to me anyways, which is nice because it really balances out the whole set quite a lot. Um, it also, especially on the fleck patterns, they, they make a solid color and then the, the ones that have the, the patterns in it. The ones that have the patterns in it uh, seems to, to, to fill in a little bit bigger uh, or better. It makes it probably about 10.3, eh, 10.5 millimeters wide versus just 10. So it's not as noticeable though on the uh, solid colors for some reason. Even though it's made from the same manufacturer, I feel that the solid color has just a slight bit rougher feel to it uh, versus this is a little smoother, but I do use both, but it's not quite as noticeable uh, having the Technora in this setup. Now, back to the heads. What's unique about this is uh, normally when you have a uh, capsule that's 100 millimeters and you have like a 95 millimeter head, that means you have to cut off the top part of that capsule. And that means the uh, hole in the head uh, is the same size as the rope. So once it's put together, it's, you know, you can't really take the tethers out. Well, I like switching tethers because I like different colors and I like different tethers. So I decided to make a, a modular system. And so now I can just pop this out and make sure that my little sleeve in there is lined up, which I'll show you in a second. And then slap that back on and slide it into place. And just like that, you've swapped out your tethers. Now what makes that possible is this flexible 3D printed sleeve that you stick inside your head. And if you noticed, I didn't have to take my capsule back up uh, to hold it together. And that's because this slides over that and keeps it all locked together. It allows this much of the capsule to stick up into your head. So now the capsule is flush with the top of your head, which means that the hole is bigger. And that's how I can pull out the cap on the end of the rope quite easily. Now, uh, if you get this and you're going to do this yourself, if you get the sleeves, you're going to have to probably cut the very top of your capsule off to make it fit in here. Uh, but Flow on Fire can do all this for you, so I recommend just having them do that unless you have your own capsules. Uh, let's go on to this new handle that I have here. This is called the uh, Reactor Flux, and our original Reactor Plus uh, it was about three quarters of an inch longer. It has a slightly different uh, profile, too. This one has a little bit more bulbous of an end right here. But we wanted something uh, that was a little bit lighter and a little bit smaller for people who were switching over to this size head and a lot of people are switching over to that. So the flux was born. This is now flush in the back. Normally the capsule would be attached to this and then you pull this out with the capsule, which I don't have in there. Um, now the capsule is flush in there and that means you just bunch the rope up and then push it like that. The capsule comes out the top. Now to be able to make this that compact, that means you have to take off the top part of your capsule like you would normally do if you were putting this inside of a 95 millimeter head. So if you can do that, it's easy just to, to saw it off, but uh, that comes out just as easy as that and then snaps into place. Now, if I wanted to switch out my uh, tethers on my knobs, uh, or if I wanted to switch out my uh, tethers like from knobs to this setup, I can do that. It is a little bit harder. We didn't really make the egg knob to be swapped out as, as quickly, and it takes a little bit of strength, but I'll just show you how to do it. You pop that out, and then you push the rope up like that. And that comes out, and then that pops out. 
and that pops off. And by the way, if uh, if you have ultra poi chips and you have extra ones and you're at a festival and you throw them in your bag, you know they can get damaged doing that. So I recommend getting extra ones of these and just storing your chips in there and then they you know can be swapped out super quick. But to get that out, you have to really use some force. Uh, and sometimes you can use needle nose pliers, grip onto the rope and then push it out. But uh, it does take some force to get out. But just did that and swapped out my handles quite quickly. So that's pretty neat. Um, these handles will be out probably in the next month or so. So keep an eye out for that. The sleeves and the modular setup is already out at Flow on Fire. So that comes in the 95 and the 100 millimeter. I'm not too sure what they're doing on the 90 millimeter. I'm assuming uh, the capsule will probably stick up above just like they do on the, uh, the uh, Emoja heads, I think they're called, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And uh, the last thing I'll talk about is the, the pro model, that's the day set. Now, um, this is the 95.5 millimeter heads. Um, they come in so many different colors. This particular one is in uh, a matte finish, which is super neat. Um, I'm using the regular VPC on this, but my next set will have the TPC. And then I'm using the play knobs. And if you, let's see, where did I put that? Um, if you're familiar with play knobs, uh, they're a silicone rubber knob that uh, is, it's got a great feel to it. It's super grippy. Um, the newest version they came out with, which is right here. This one has a bigger back end, which means that you can have uh, more weight in here, or if you don't run any weight, it's gonna be slightly uh, less heavy than that, but it's the same size. And uh, I'm really glad they came out with that because uh, I have bigger ropes that I put in mine, and the rope hole on this one is super small, but that one means you can fit like a 7 16th in there uh, quite easily. And then the same with the back, you have plenty of room to put a, a cap on the end of it. Or if you're using a 3 8 you probably could even fit a knot in the back of that if you wanted to. So that's what the pro model setup is going to have on it. And uh, yeah, they're super bright. I definitely recommend them. Now, um, if you have any comments or questions on any of this, do get in touch with me on that. And uh, if you want a discount at Flow on Fire, it is POI Mechanic, all one word, and it's all capitalized. I really appreciate you all watching. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.